really is like the end of summer. I know you can feel it. It's also, yeah. well, we all tropical weather, so True. guess what? You, we, we can have our end of summer. I don't care what the calendar <laughs> says because around here it'll do what it wants, which is, again, more tropical uh, activity and very warm. Boy, look at that today. Even the beaches got in on some of this warmth today. Some of the beaches not, but you can see Ventura uh, up to 80, Goleta uh, 81, and then as we head farther north, Pismo, you got more of a sea breeze. Lompoc, really nice. Paso Robles, hot, but not terrible. And then San Luis Obispo at 90 degrees, 81 for Santa Maria. Into very early Sunday, we have yet again another wind advisory for the Gavio to coastline very normal for this time of year big area of high pressure that's the uh, the four corners high and you can see it's uh, settled in a little bit more to the west and therefore that's why we have the heat wave and uh, less of the onshore flow and almost an offshore flow developed over the last few days very humid conditions still uh, being pumped in from both directions we have the monsoon then of course as we look to our south and I'll show that in a moment um, an area of low pressure in the form of tropical storm Hova pushing up some energy so the Hova chances are there. More heat for Sunday, monsoon uh, as well, kind of staying well, well off toward Arizona, but we have the Hoba chances right there. And then over my shoulder, that's the heat relief coming about late Monday going into Tuesday. Might even mix in a bit with Hova. That's kind of an interesting little wild card there. Uh, a little bit hard to deal with. Now the good news is on the East Coast, we have Lee right there. Big, massive storm. Very, very dangerous. Uh, big area of high pressure known as the Bermuda High is sort of settled in an area right here and then you have this uh, area of low pressure over the continental United States the East Coast which has helped to cool them off fortunately the good news is these combined are hopefully going to steer sort of Lee into kind of a, a friendly no man's land maybe going over Bermuda that's not good but at least it might stay off the East Coast so there it is again there's Lee and there's Margo Margo really not a threat right now we'll kind of focus uh, on Lee over the next few days and then in our own little neck of the woods we've got of course Hova rain chances possibly bringing up something into our, our area we look at the uh, the uh, the tracker right here the hurricane tracker and it kind of takes it well out into no man's land as well but as it falls apart it is pumping some moisture in our direction so we'll have to keep a close eye on that over the next few days kind of a chances of uh, are really slight but there is definitely something out there that is active and we'll kind of look at that as I get a little closer to our neck of the woods and I'll stop it just once and our computer is having a fit trying to deal with this, but some moisture does sort of build up. And now when I go ahead and I put in the uh, the old uh, uh, the computer map with the uh, the decimals and watch what happens right here. There's not really much to talk about. It stays kind of blank. Maybe something in the mountains. This is the computer saying there is something out there, but there's not much to play with. We'll have to wait and see. Also, more wind chances expected through tonight and into tomorrow night. Watch it kind of dies off in the day, but then it comes roaring back again tomorrow night. So another wind advisory is definitely possible and probably likely for the usual areas of the Hollister Ranch back out toward um, the Gaviota area just west of Goleta. Fog chances the next couple of days seem, seem pretty minimal, so we'll go ahead and get out this map and kind of focus on the heat. And boy, look at the overnight computer having a really hard time bringing those temperatures down. Probably won't be as warm as you see there, um, but it's just showing us that we're not really losing the heat, all because of all the tropical moisture also helping to sort of blanket the area and keeping it on the mild side. There's your highs tomorrow. Back into the 80s for the south coast. Another warm, really toasty day as we head north and west of Point Conception. Up into the 70s and 80s near the beaches. Inland areas back into the 90s, but it looks like we stay out of the, uh, the triple digit zone, so I guess that is good. And Hova chances for all areas, Ventura County especially because we're farther south. And boy, look at the lightning bolts. So the computer says maybe. Have to keep an eye on that. Certainly Surf has come up noticeably out of this, a steep angled swell of about 180 degrees and a high surf advisory for all those south facing beaches of Ventura County through Monday. And there's your chances for Hova dissipating quickly on Monday. Tuesday, we cool things off slightly more so on Wednesday. The AM fog routine comes roaring back into the other uh, route into our weather forecast and we go right back to being very boring and very beautiful. We'll be right back in just a moment.